The Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration, or OWA, is the lead government agency tasked to protect and promote the welfare and well-being of overseas Filipino workers and their dependents. It provides and sustains assistance to all its members in all its regional and overseas offices. It also provides information and guidance through pre-departure orientation seminars. The pre-departure orientation seminar for the country of Qatar. Qatar's total land area is 11,437 square kilometers. It is a bit smaller than Palawan. The travel time from the Philippines to Qatar is 10 hours. This is the flag of Qatar. Qatar nationals are called Qataris. Qatar's capital is Doha. The monetary currency in Qatar is the Qatari Rial. Here are the codes on calling from the Philippines to Qatar and vice versa. Philippine time is ahead of Qatar time by 5 hours. The means of transportation in Qatar are airplanes, buses, and taxis. Working days are Sundays to Thursdays. Weekends are Fridays and Saturdays, or any two days between Thursday and Saturday, depending on the country. Office hours are usually from 8.30 or 9 in the morning to 5.30 or 6 in the afternoon. In the month of Ramadan, the working day is reduced to 6 hours and legally, this should apply to all workers. However, most of the companies arrange working hours differently for Muslim workers and non-Muslim workers. Working hours vary from the kind of your workplace whether it is a government or a private office. Many companies or employers only apply it to Muslims who fast during daylight hours. Qatar's terrain is mostly flat and barren desert, covered with loose sand and gravel, with some low hills and a central limestone plateau. Summer in Qatar starts in May to September. Winter season is from November to May. Spring season is from March to April. Natural hazards include dust and sandstorms. Majority of the population consists of the Qatari Arabs. Arabic and English are the major languages in Qatar. Their official religion is Islam. Food in Qatar are the likes of hummus, yogurt, and kubus. The do's and don'ts in Qatar. Be polite when conversing with the Qatari person. Shake hands when you give or receive something to and from a Qatari with your right hand only. Ask for permission before photographing a Qatari elderly, a police authority, or a military installation. Always carry an identification, either a photocopy of your passport or residence permit. During Ramadan, workers may not be able to eat on time. Eat inside your room and never in the presence or in front of your employer. Don't eat, drink, or smoke in public during Ramadan. Wearing of revealing clothes is strictly forbidden. Dress appropriately at all times. Homosexuality is not tolerated. Tattoos should be covered up. Piercing other than earrings are not acceptable. Gambling is forbidden. No public display of affection. Don't eat with your left hand. The use of the left hand is associated with personal hygiene. Don't approach a female for information or directions if you are a man. 
Don't take photographs of sensitive sites such as military bases, airports, and seaports. Don't sit with the soles of your shoes or feet pointing at a Qatari. Practice of religion outside Islam is strictly forbidden. Remember that pork products and pornography are banned in Qatar. Use and distribution of alcohol is strictly regulated. It is illegal to be drunk in public and to drive while under the influence of alcohol. Here are the most frequently asked questions. What do I need to remember before I leave for work abroad? Things you need to remember and do before leaving for your country of destination. Read carefully and review the content of your work contract, like the type of work, work address, and name of employer and agency. Always leave copies of your documents with your family. These include work contract, photocopy of visa and passport, and other important documents. Set specific goals and plans on how you will achieve them. It is better to plan with your family. Make sure to write down the contact numbers of the Philippine Embassy and the Philippine Overseas Labor Office, or POLO. I still have debts. Can I leave Qatar? No. You cannot leave Qatar without first paying all outstanding debts. If you still have debts, there is a chance that they will report you. The Qatari government might suspend your work permit and exit visa. I am not being paid correctly and I was made to sign a different contract. What should I do? You should seek assistance immediately from your employment agency and a consular officer from the Philippine Embassy or Consulate. Unique local labor laws may apply. The advice given by consular officers, welfare officers and labor attaches may be helpful in addressing any complaints that you may have. My employer is not paying me on time and I need to send money home. What will I do? Talk to your employer or sponsor about your concerns. My employer or sponsor does not listen to me and gets angry when I ask him about my salary. What will I do? Call your embassy or polo for advice. I plan to run away and work for a new employer. What are my chances if I work without proper documentation or what they call TNT? Absconding and working illegally or as a TNT is heavily penalized and deprives a person health care, insurance and other benefits. They carry a higher risk for abuse and exploitation. In settling problems with your employer, you can do any of the following. Talk to your employer or sponsor about the problem. Call your agency regarding the problem. Call the Philippine Embassy or Polo and ask for advice. Kasi yung mga manager namin, kasi nagtrabaho ako sa restaurant, yung manager namin medyo stricto. Kailangan uh, very competitive ka. Pero sa tulong ng mga kasamaan ko rin mga Pilipino, uh, medyo nakapag-adjust naman ako. Yung ano lang, yung huwag kang makikipag-smile sa mga Arabo kasi ano yun eh, parang gesture yun na gusto mo sila. Pag sa Ramadan po talaga hindi po sila kumakain, tubig lang po from 6 o'clock to 6. Pero yun nga lang, magluluto kayo, din po kayo mahalas maghapon. Kami naman po na DH, kakain kayo nga lang, huwag mong ipapakita para respect na rin po sa kanila. Pag nagkasakit ako, initag naman ni Papa, check up ka. Pag ma, kung may kailangan ka, isabihin mo lang po, ibibigay naman. Sa mga papunta pa lang po ng Qatar, uh, ex, uh, dito pa lang po una, i-adjust nyo na yung sarili nyo. Dapat may idea na, idea na kayo sa culture nila, may idea na kayo sa bansang pupuntahan nyo. Tsaka pupunta po kayo doon, may pangarap ako. The Philippine Embassy in Doha, Qatar is located at Villa Number no. 7, 
Al Ether Street, Saha 2, West Bay, PO Box 24900, Doha, State of Qatar. Here are the following contact information about the Philippine Embassy in Qatar. 